The police raid of a small Kansas newspaper is getting international attention. Officers seize computers and phones from the Marion County record Friday. KNBC 9's Andy Alcock spoke with the publisher this afternoon. In addition to the raid here at the record, police officers also searched the home of the newspaper's co-owner, 98-year-old Joanne Meyer. There's now a memorial here outside the newspaper's office because the day after the raid on her home, she collapsed and died. Her son and record publisher, Eric Meyer, provided us with pictures and video of the raid. He tells us the stress from the raid led to his mother not sleeping or eating, and he believes that stress killed her. At issue is an identity theft and unlawful use of computer case involving the driving record of a local restaurant owner. Eric Meyer says that case has absolutely no merit. He believes it's a direct assault on the freedom of the press. As my mother would say, this is the jackboot Nazis, this is the Gestapo, this is Vladimir Putin, this is this is the tactics of a totalitarian regime. The Kansas Bureau of Investigation is now leading this case. In a statement from KBI, it says in part, no one is above the law, whether it's a public figure or representative of the media. In Marion, Andy Alcock, KMBC 9 News. This afternoon, Governor Laura Kelly said that questions need to be asked about the police raid. Quote, I want to make sure that in the state of Kansas, we're not violating individuals or press's constitutional right to free speech.